Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha Mashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo. Today is the 18th of June 2024. It's 8.56 a.m. We just had um, some retail news come out. So today is Tuesday. We have um, 8.30 core retail sales month over month and retail sales month over month. So that's the result there. Let's see. Let me just highlight this. So, gotta reset that or refresh. Alright, so we had 0.1%. So, we had a minus of 0.1%. The forecast was 0.2. So, we basically stayed the same on um, core retail sales. On retail sales, we had a drop of 0.1%. Alright, that's bookmap there. That's the market pulse on bookmap. This is um, the YouTube stream from Tink, Tink with bookmap. And I'm going to get my bookmap subscription back soon, man. I really need to have a little more detail than, than what I get to see here on, um, on this um, YouTube stream. Alright, so let me... Let me go over here, do some technical analysis. So we had those retail sales results. Um, let's see here, we're gonna start with, this is the weekly chart. I mean the one hour chart where I have these weekly levels. So let me just throw this on. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so this is last week's um, value area high, which is this week's levels, provides this week's levels. And first thing here, we have this single print here at 54.60.75, around that area, 54.61.25. And let me just mute this um, market pulse on, on um, bookmap. All right, so here we have the value area low which is at um, 54.34.75 and the POC is at um, 55.03.75 and the value area high is at 55.20 so the most relevant um, level for us is 55.20 that's the value area high and let's just look at the setup of that right so we have an overlapping higher value um, relationship on the profile so this was the previous week's um, value area high. This is now the current value area low. And this is this week's um, value area high. So we have an overlapping higher value, right? If this value area low was above previous week's value area high, then we would have um, a higher value relationship. So right now, this is moderately bullish on the week. And let's see here. So basically anything coming back to 5520 is a buy because we're we're already over value um seeking new value in this um this week right so we broke out of yes um last week some value area high why is this still going off oh I got another one here my bad one second where are you where are you right All right, so that's the um, the market profile for the week. We're looking at 55.20. All right, so let's move on here. Let's move on to the pivots, right? So the central pivot range is right here. Let's see, let's highlight that. So the top central to the bottom central, that's the level right there. So top central is at 54.88, bottom central is at 54, you can see the levels right here. Bottom central is at 54.59.50, central is at 54.73.75, and top central is at 54.88. Alright, so we didn't get a test of that, so let me just open up the chart a little bit. You see I have some notes right there. Right, so weekly open above CPR, no touch equal bullish to R2, right? So if we don't get a touch of this central pivot here, we could expect some bullishness 
up to at least R2. If we usually, when we test these areas like the central pivot range, we would probably get to R1 and that'll be the first target. And um, we might not push above that. We might, you know, um, that might be just the general target for the week. If we don't touch the central pivot though, that means we will have a, a trending kind of week, right? Or if it's on the daily, it's going to be a trending kind of day. So I'm looking for it to get up to at least R2, which is at um, 55.79.50. Right, you can see that level right there. So on these lines, you can see the levels over here, right? So looking to get to at least R2. Um, let's see. All right, so that's the that's the floor pivot setup. So let's go over here to the Camarillas. Right, so the Camarillas here is in a overlapping higher value relationship or higher value. Let me just open that up so you can see this. All right, so this was previous week's Camarilla S3 and that level was um, at 53.82.50. And previous week's Camarilla R3 is here at 54.58.75, right? So let me just point it out. That's that red line right there. And you see that's moving up, right? So for this week, it has moved up to, let's see, 55.35.50, right? And Camarilla S3. has now moved up above previous week's Camarilla R3, Camarilla, to 54.69.25. So Camarilla S3 has now moved up above previous week's Camarilla R3 to 54.69.25. You can see the level right there. That's the green line. And that has created a golden pivot zone. When I throw on the pivots, you can see this um, central pivot is now in league with the Camarilla S3 at this level right here. So that's a support level. Even with a single print, it's creating a little a little zone right there for support, right? So we're looking for some bullish action off of the Camarillas. So the Camarillas is saying we should break out to at least um, Camarilla R4. So we're just above, we're just below Camarilla R4 here at 556825. So that's going to be our first target right there. And I was looking at something here um, for the range on. So yesterday we had this trend day, right? We had a nice trend day. We had um, a move of basically about 71 points, right? So I was looking at after a rain, uh, t um, after a trend day like that, I was looking for what could possibly be like a, a slow day. So I was looking back to try and find what range a slow day or after a trend day could um, produce, right? So that's not a slow day. Let's see here. Let's see what kind of range this is. We got 76 point. That's another kind of trendish move. Let's see, let's take these off for a second. I know I found one of these one of these days here were um See, let's go back a little bit more. Nope, I can't find it right now. So I was looking for a range of like a, a typical day, what kind of range we were looking at. And um, I swore it was like about 40 points on one of them, but I'm not finding it right now. 
because I was trying to gauge now after after a trending day like this yesterday, I was trying to gauge what kind of um what kind of range we could possibly look at, right? But anyway, let me just check out the volume weighted average pr average price VWAP. So I have that anchored from the 9th of January of June. So let's see what's going on here. We have we're coming up to this level here of um the second upper deviation band, which is gonna create some kind of resistance here at this level. So we're at that's at 55, 59, 43, right? So usually it creates some kind of resistance. You see here it creates resistance, right? So let's see if we can break out of that level today or if we're gonna be capped by that today. Um so right, that's that's it for the VWAP. I'm gonna assume we could possibly get a real retest here of the first upper deviation, which is gonna coincide with the value area high, market profile value area high for the week. Right? So that's that level is at um first upper deviation is at fifty five, sixteen, sixty six. And that's coupled with um value area high on the market profile right so we could get a touch of that today if we want to go bearish and kind of clean up some of this um some of this bullishness right here we might kind of auction here a little bit i guess to find buyers or to pick up some of those buyers that didn't get on the train all right all right so that's it for vwap let's see here let's go to the volume profile right so No surprise here on the volume profile. This is anchored from the 10th of June. So we have this coil in here last week. So that's um that created the the VPOC, which is resting at 5502.25, 5502.5501, one, somewhere around there. Let's say 5501.50. Right? So that's another area is lining up with the market profile POC for the week. So that's another area we could actually come back and retest um, this breakout level here, right? So the breakout level is value area high, but um, the meat of it right here is um, the VPOC, which could also be retested, right? So looking to see what kind of what kind of buyers we getting coming into this session. We're gonna open in like about 20 minutes, so it's looking like it's bearish. It's setting up a little bearish right now with this um, kind of doji candle here that tried to break out of the top. Let me just make that a little bigger. Let me remove the volume. Wait, let me see. All right, so we created a high volume node here as well in this um, this rotation right here. Also with the run up, so created high volume right there at um. 55 47 75 so that's going to be an area of resistance we got to break through if we're going to move back up we're currently at 55 43 so five points away we got some resistance up top right so let's see here yeah and that's all my technicals for for the week so throw back all my stuff here Camarillas and that's the overview right there we're targeting R2 we could also retest the Camarilla um, R3 right here at 55 to the 5 um, 25 and that could also be a push off level so we could do a little retest right here right to find buyers so it's looking like that's the first level we're gonna get some support if not value area high and this first um upper deviation band on the vwap right so let's go down now to all right take off everything here one second All right, so 
First off, we have the overnight high here at 55.54.25. The mid is, let me just make sure it's still the mid, right. So the mid is at 55.48 and the low is at 55.41.50, right. So low, mid, overnight high, right. So we have this nice little rotation right here, which is going to probably break out into some direction. And it's looking like it wants to break out to the downside, but every time um, in in these um, ETH sessions, we usually get like a little pullback, and we get that bullishness um, in the RTH open. So let's see here. All right, let's start with the pivots, right? So again, we have some bullish activity here where the pivots. I believe it's a higher value yes yes it is all right so let me just break that down so we have all those um market profile levels as well so let me just point out what we're looking at here so the central pivot from the prior day is here right so that's the top central the central right there and the bottom central so that was the pivot from the prior day this is now the pivot area for today, right? So we have, um, if you go across, you can see the levels right here. And let me just make that bigger. Right, so top central is at 55.39.25. That's full support. 55.32.25 is the central pivot. And the bottom central is 55.25.50. That's creating a silver pivot zone, and I'm going to explain that a little later on. So um, this is our first level here to bounce off of, right? And then we'll try and probably bounce off of 55 to the 225. Not really looking to take any shorts, just looking to take reversals. So all the way down here to this silver pivot zone, I'll be looking to take um, take these, these reversal plays. So let's see, let me take off this here. That's the Camarillas. Wait, hold on. So let me just say again, if we don't touch this um, central pivot, that's a bullish indication that we'll get to at least floor pivot R1, possibly R2, right? So R1 is at 55.78.81. R2 is at 55.96.63. So if we don't touch this level right here and get the reversal like right now and start moving up from here, this is a nice um, buying consolidation that will take us up to R1 immediately. Well, not in, I don't know if it's going to be immediately, but it's going to take us up to R1. First target is going to be yesterday's high, overnight high, yesterday's high, then R1, right? If we do touch it, we could still get that bounce there to R1. If we don't touch it, we could possibly see R2, right? But two trend days in a row, I don't know if we're going to do that, but we'll see. Right, so looking at the Camarillas now. The Camarillas is in a higher value relationship. And let me just point that out. Previous days, Camarilla R3 was at around, I think it's 55.16 or some, or 55.15. 55 14 75 right and now camarilla s3 which is here let me just use the arrow here that's the green line right there that's now currently at 55 26 66 right 55 26 75 roughly right so that's a higher value relationship so we're looking for buys off of camarilla s3 if it does want to come down to that level and if we throw on the pivots again you can see why i created this um silver pivot zone right there that's the bottom central pivot coupled with um camarilla s3 to create support so it's not a golden pivot zone because it's not using the central pivot with the camarilla s3 is using the bottom central so i i call it like the silver pivot zone so it's a level it's a it's a level below the golden pivot zone i would say right so looking for support here if we do want to come down here 
Um, let's see. Right, and the market profile. Let me just throw that on here. Take off these. Right. So this is the market profile for yesterday. And we created the value area low here at 54.8950. This is the POC level here at um, 5575, 5575, um, that's the overlapping higher value because the previous days, um, the previous days, let me see, let me see, let me go back, let me go back. I have some back testing there, so uh, it's going to get a little hectic. So the previous day's value area low was down here, so we moved up here. Previous day's value area low was 54.79.50. So don't want to really go back into that because I got those back testing levels there. It's kind of messy there for real. Right, so value area high is now at um, 55.29.50. So that's creating that support level there as well with um, the silver pivot zone, right? So we have a single print here at 55.16, and we also have a sil single print here at, um, let's see what level that is, 55.35.25. And I think that's lining up with another level. Let me see. Is it... kind of lining up a little bit with the, the central pivot. So that's the levels there on the market profile. Looking for some bounces off of um, either value area high or maybe the single print here at 55.35 just before this um, central pivot right here. So let's see, we're going to throw on the volume profile, take these off. Right, so the volume profile, where is the... All right, so I got to make some adjustment for yesterday's VPOC. And move this up here. All right, so line that up. So that's yesterday's VPOC. Right, so that's yesterday's volume profile area here. We have a little bit of gaps here, kind of lining up with, I think, uh, the single print levels. Right, so we have single prints here, which is some low volume areas here and here, with our point, which I pointed out before. So, um, right, so we have these, this yesterday, um, yesterday's VPOC to, as a, either resistance or a breakout level. Right, so that's kind of lining up with the mid right now. We're actually breaking above that right now. Right, so what's the time? 9.20. So we're going to open in about 10 minutes. And we're getting back to the mid, pushing above yesterday's VPOC. We got some volume coming in here. Right, on the VRSI, we're starting to move from this bearish um bearish levels which is the yellow to the bullish which is the blue so we're starting to get a peak above there on the blue All right you can see that was the selling pressure right there so this is quantum's vrsi volume relative strength indicator we're starting to move we're starting to peak above in the blue right here which is the bullish on volume relative strength we're starting to get some volume here coming in as well And those those bells are my alerts going off, so I got some alerts on trading view. All right, y'all. So that's that's basically um that's basically the setups. I'm gonna put back on my levels here. 
All right, so we got the view up. So it's looking like my Bowling Green strategy is happening here already. Um, where we're breaking above this um, first lower deviation here, which is at 55, 44, 66, this level right here. So maybe we get a retest. And this is also the developing volume point of control. This is at um, 55, 45, 75. So we're getting some bullishness here. This was actually a little setup for me. But um, I'm going to wait till the open. So maybe we get a retest of this. And I get like a little bounce below and a push off, right? Because we already created now, we created a cause that I'm looking for. A little rotation between or just above um, this first lower deviation and the second lower deviation. So we had this um, this little rotation here that builds the cause for the reversal, right? So let me just put this in here. All right, so this is a possible bowling green happening right now. All right, so I'm looking for a retest here to, to execute another bowling green. So we already have this push up here, which I was successful. We hit this first upper deviation right here and hit the mid. So let's see if we're going to get a little pullback here to around 55.44 so I can go long off of that level. All right, you also it's Malak Shalomo. That's my technical analysis for the week. And for today, I'm looking for a little bounce here at 55.44. We also got this TC here at 55.29.25. That's my first level of... um of support then coming down here we got the central pivot 55 to the 225 and then lastly we got this silver pivot zone here with Camarilla s3 and the bottom central somewhere around 55 26. all right so let's see how it goes let me upload this video and get ready to trade all right y'all it's malak shalomo y'all trade safe and stay blessed